Hello the one this bomb and welcome back to episode 2 of this let's play the calamity mod and we are just about to craft our first few victite bars so you need those victory shards corals starfishes and seashells nine bars hmm that doesn't sound like a whole lot but let's see if we can craft something already okay the good news we don't need that many bars to craft something the bad news there is no bad news. What did you expect? Let's go for the urchin spear for now. And four bars are needed to craft this one. Two bars for a yo-yo. That should be worth it, right? And I would say... Let's also make the first piece of the Victide armor. The Victide helmet. And since we still have a summoning item from the last episode... Here we go again, Desert Scourge. Wow, okay. Seems like body part number 10 likes to work out a lot. Mmm, somehow this was a lot easier the first time. Yeah, boom! Genius move! Oh god. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that never happened. Jimmy, please edit this part out, okay? No one needs to know that I occasionally derp out. Yeah, occasionally. <laughs> okay, we also need more corals and seashells and stuff. And yeah, it's getting a bit complicated now. No, it's not complicated at all, you idiot. Remember the expert item we got from the Desert Scourge? Yeah, why don't you use that, huh? Jesus, why are you so stupid? Um, no thank you, Mr. Shark. I got enough. Peace, I'm out. What? We only got four more. Ah, god damn it. Okay, I guess we have to visit the left ocean as well. I hope we got enough now, because I don't know where else to get the stuff from. Three. Okay, yeah, great. Well, we have seven now, so we can definitely craft something. Let's see here. Alright, let's go for the Victite leggings, because then we also have enough bars left to craft the helmet. Ah, god damn it! We already had one! Ah, oh, fuck my life! Oh man, that was a classic bomb derp out moment. Great job, me. So, our problem now is we have two little victory shards, and we shall immediately fix that by killing one or two desert scourges. Alright, bruh, this time I will not trap myself again. I've learned from my mistakes. I'm intelligent, human, big brain and stuff. Sweet, we did it! And something happened. Something so mysterious that I can't even read it. Um, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with that ore that spawned on the ground. Which I will show you later on. For now, let's kill another Desert Scourge. Alright, awesome. Let's get rid of these guys and then we shall open our packs. And what do we get? The expert item, another Seabound Staff, 27 victory shards... And okay, I did not know that he also drops seashells and stuff. Okay, cool. Let's see how many bars we can make now. Well, that's actually a lot. 20 Victite bars are definitely enough. So now we can craft the remaining piece of the Victite armor. The Victite breastplate. Alright, let's check out the stats of the armor. Victite helmet. To defense, 5% increase to all damage. Sub bonus, increased life regen and damage. While submerged in liquid. Um, now that's a very situational set bonus and it makes me believe even more that the next boss is to be fought in the ocean. But I don't know. Victite Breastplate for defense, 5% damage reduction, very nice, and defense increased while submerged in liquid. And the Victite Leggings, 3 defense, movement speed increased by 8% and speed greatly increased while submerged in liquid. Ah, not too bad. And definitely amazing in water. Uh, let's also craft the Great Bay Pickaxe, cause why the hell not? And I will also craft this hammock here, thank you very much. Shield of the Ocean, I especially want this one because it's a material. And the Seashell Boomerang, cause it's a melee weapon and it gives us that little bit of extra range in case we need it. Alright, and that's all we're going to craft with these Victite Bars. I will leave the rest to you guys to explore. By the looks of it, the Shield of the Ocean is a material for a super accessory, which we cannot craft right now. We are just missing a few materials. No big deal. <laughs> Maybe we will craft it in episode 57 or something. Alright, so this is the newly spawned in ore. So let's see what it is. 
Yeah, of course we can't break it. Freaking awesome. Uh, if I had to guess, then we probably need the nightmare pickaxe to break it. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what to do now. I've checked a lot of materials now, but I just couldn't find a summoning item for a possible ocean boss. So I guess the next logical step would be to defeating the Eater of Worlds. Then we would get shadow scales, and with that stuff, we can make new modded stuff. And the nightmare pickaxe. And I'm like 99% certain that we can break that bluish ore with that pick. Look at us being super quick in water now. And we also got pretty high defense now. Man, I, I just cry because we can't seem to make good use of this cool armor set. You know what, let's make this area a bit bigger and fill it with water. Then we made use of the armor at least against one boss. Yeah, this might take me a minute or two. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's good enough. This just eats too much time, man. So let's go, Mr. Eater of Worlds. Yep, that was a super chill fight. I probably could have even stood still and just tanked him. But I'm not too sure about that. Anyway, this was really easy and we got our Shadow Scales. Sweet, we got Demonite Ore, Shadow Scales and of course the Warm Scarf. Perfect. And here we go, made ourselves a Nightmare Pickaxe. Alright, a weapon I want to check out is the Night Stabber. Pretty safe to say it's a short sword style weapon, which I actually hate big times, but maybe this one is actually good. And hey, it's a material, so why not check it out? And here we go, we have to be next to a demon altar to craft it. And you need 6 demonite bars, 5 shadow scales and a platinum or gold short sword. Hmm. I expected it to be a bit faster, but okay. We will definitely check it out against some mobs. Yay! We can now break this ore. Hooray! And the breaking animation of the ore looks cool as hell. Okay, now listen up. Here is me trying to pronounce this ore's name. Aerialite ore? Huh. I think I actually nailed it. So yeah, this ore is all over the place now, so I'm just going to collect a whole bunch. Ah, seems like the Night Stabber has just a little bit too little knockback. I think for this super short range, it could have a bit more knockback. Okay, so let's craft one area light bar now and check out the guide what we can craft with it. I found a recipe for some crazy good boots and, well, they are still a material. Huh? So this is basically a whole new tier of new armor and weapons and it's linked with floating islands, harpies and all that stuff. So let's go and find a floating island, break down the whole hut and then farm some feathers. Which is going to be an interesting task since I think these harpies will be quite difficult to kill. Maybe not difficult to kill but it's definitely going to be quite hard to farm them with our current setup. Alright, we found our floating island. Let's see what we get from the chest. A shiny red balloon. Ah well, a lucky horseshoe would have been nicer, but whatever. So let's deconstruct this house now and murder some birdies. Yeah, just what I thought. It's not that easy. Ah, come on, I'm not gonna die here now. Yeah, of course. But maybe we got enough stuff already to make some of that area light stuff. Okay, so we need a sky mill to craft most of the items. And there is a way to craft one, but I think that's an Imk Sushi mod recipe. And I only want to use stuff from the Imk Sushi mod as a last resort. So I know there is a mod which tells you from what mod a certain item is. So I will show you. Okay, found it. The mod is called, which mod is this from? Wait, is this a vanilla game recipe? Here it says this item is from the Calamity mod. Huh, well in that case, thank you for the sky mill. Alright, now I really want to check out the skyline wings. Yes, you've heard right, wings, early pre-hard mode. 5 area light bars, 5 feathers and 5 fallen stars. And you've got yourself a pair of wings just after defeating the Eater of Worlds. Yeah, I expected them to suck big times, but hey, wings are still wings. Meaning a little bit of fly time, slow falling and no fall damage. That's a huge deal in my opinion. 
And they look pretty darn sexy. We shall also craft the air spinner, a yo-yo, which I hope will help us killing more harpies more easily. We are also going for the wind blade because the night stabber is not good at all. And why the hell not, sky fringe pickaxe. And also the aerial hammocks. Man, we pretty much crafted everything of that tier already. We still have to get the armor set though. So let's head back to the floating island and continue farming. Nice, our new yo-yo makes killing harpies a lot easier. So we will be done here pretty soon. Sweet, we are done here. But we also need more area light bars, so be right back. We got 32 bars in total now, which is definitely going to be enough for the full armor. Alright, here we go. Helm, breastplate, leggings. Huh, <laughs> with this armor and the wings, we look pretty badass already. Okay, let's check out the stats of the armor. Aerospec helm. For defense, 8% increase to all damage types. Set bonus, increased movement speed as health decreases. Mm, doesn't sound too awesome right now. But maybe it could be a lifesaver if you have to make a run for it. Aerospec Breastplate, 6 defense, plus 20 max mana and plus 1 max minion. And Aerospec Leggings, 5 defense and 12% increased movement speed. Alright, sweet, solid armor. But I think the Victite armor is still a lot better. If we are in water, of course. I wanna craft one more weapon from this tier, the Gold Plume Spear. Alright, sweet. And I think this is actually a good point to end the episode. And we still haven't built a base! God damn it, Baum! But next episode we will get to it, I promise. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me derping around! And as always, thanks for watching mates, have a sweet day, and stay awesome!